hi there this is going to be a general love reading basically for all signs you guys know the drill for those of you that do not welcome so we are just going to shuffle away and see what energy comes out i've got my black tourmaline quartz here my skull because it is scorpio season isn't it quite fitting for those of you who snagged my last bracelet, it was the Alchemist, which was made with exactly that crystal. So, and I'm wearing it right now. You have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Stopping to smell the roses. Taking a pause. I also saw in my head somebody that is taking a moment to savor or appreciate something. Okay? Meaning, are you stopping to smell the roses? Are you taking a moment to appreciate and savor an opportunity, a person, deception? Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Well, there's a bit of, I saw denial. Wearing a false self mask could be you. Are you in denial about something? Were you in denial about something? Was someone in denial about something? It's like the mask falls off because, I mean, hello, it's Scorpio season. Scorpio is about the depths, right? It's about whew, what lurks beneath the surface. The mask falls off. Whether this is... Actually, it does feel like feelings. I was going to say whether it's business or a relationship, but it feels like it's, it, it's feelings emotions it feels yeah <laughs> i mean okay so from the jump we have two tens ten of cups which is happily ever after it is the feeling of having it all and then the wheel of fortune which is also roman numeral x ten is completion Wheel of Fortune is also sudden change. So there's this sudden change happening here. The wheel turns very suddenly and quickly. Someone here could suddenly realize something that has been I, taken for granted. I mean, don't get me wrong. It could be a missed opportunity. Could also be taking advantage of career opportunities in front of you. I mean, Wheel of Fortune is destiny and fate. It is also fortune and luck. I mean, are you fucking kidding? Look what's on the bottom of the deck. The star, which is Aquarius, but it's a wish. And then underneath that was the Ace of Cups, and it doesn't stop there, the lovers. I mean, Ace of Cups could be self-love, and it should start there. It's never been about the other person. It's always been about us. That was a huge lesson that we needed to learn self-love but it's also new love is it brand brand new or is it renewed that will be different for each person there's a sense or feeling of completion because again 10 is the number of completion there's a feeling of being complete the lovers is an extremely strong attraction for aquas, our reading that I just did was about two people, Very, it was extreme magnetic attraction. That might be relevant somehow for you. It's also the energy of Aquarius, which is, I mean, healing. It's a card of hope. It's like you finally get the happily ever after. And it sounds very cheesy, but is it? Or did you literally manifest it? right? Attraction is also about law of attraction. That's how we manifest is by being in the present moment. Maybe taking one moment to pause, to breathe, something makes sense. Maybe the universe kind of intervene, right? Divine intervention, if you will. I mean, are there any better cards than this, right? The star is also true north finding your way on my live earlier xi underscore missy underscore xi if you follow me there and if you do not please follow me there on that particular live the song that got channeled which is not a new song i've channeled it before 
um, from one of my favorite movies, top five all-time soundtracks, Urban Cowboy. I was looking for love in all the wrong places. I bet you were. I bet you were. There is a sense of completion here. There is also this sense of home. There's a sense of It's also something about timing. You know, Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, but something about timing. It's weird, but I saw in my head somebody that like wound up a clock, you know, like time stops, like, you know, old school watches or like some hand clocks. Sorry, some clocks you have to actually wind them up, right? That have, you know, the hands on them and they stop if you don't. It's kind of like a grandfather clock. And what I saw in my head was a clock that was stopped and somebody had to go in there with a the key and twist it, twist it, twist it, and restart time. Time stood still. <laughs> Got the chills. Time stood still, huh? Okay. <laughs> The anchor, something that's solid, stable, it's enduring, secure. The anchor could be one of two things where someone sees it as security and stability. And then someone could see this also as being held back. There could be a change in perspective here. And there's the devil restriction so someone here may have seen this thing opportunity or whatever this is as a restriction as opposed to something that's long lasting do you see the point now the devil here is capricorn but it is a very i mean look at his stare damn near, damn near look like a death stare from scorpio it's eye on the prize, yeah, the devil. Can be I was going to say something and then I heard obsession. And this is not a stalker. This is not a unrequited thing and you know, for the dudes out there that still can't catch the hint, you know, they keep harassing us light workers, saying, you're my twin, you're my twin. No, we're not. <laughs> Our twin wouldn't contact us and say, you're my twin. Or harass us if we say, leave us alone. Right? They're attracted to our light because we are light workers. We are healers, right? Although we can't heal people, we open the door for healing. But because we have a healing light, we attract people who need healing. There is this sense of, I cannot let it go. I don't want to, is what I heard. The broom, it's unavoidable. <sighs> it's unavoidable. It's also something repetitive. Right, the broom can be cleaning house, but I'm telling you, I'm very focused on the word unavoidable and the word repetitive. Something keeps coming back around. I can't get it out of my head. And it's not a stalker. It's not an unrequited situation. It's something that just keeps revisiting because it's meant to. The tornado, storm brewing. It's like when a tornado meets a volcano. The sun, happiest car in the whole fucking deck. Pure bliss, trumps everything. This is about success. This is about healing. This is about awakening, right? So there's an awakening happening here. It's like somebody may finally realize that this job, this situation, 
this connection, however it applies for you, okay? It's like getting clarity on something here. And maybe what you thought was security is actually hindering and what you thought was hindering is actually freedom, if that makes sense. Sun is essential for all living things to grow. Sun is also this card of divine masculine. The woman, so the feminine here, and the coffin, the end, death, loss. Someone here may have lost somebody. And I mean to someone else is the feeling. Because this is breakup or, you know, whatever, defeated, discouraged, and ending. This could be that the feminine here, a feminine feels very discouraged about something. But also it feels like a masculine energy lost a feminine to someone else. Okay, then this doesn't mean that she like went with someone else or like is married or whatever. It doesn't have to be that, but it could. But it feels like it's again some kind of a missed opportunity. The yarn, it's complicated. You guys know my favorite word from this is conundrum. I'm bougie. I have a Capricorn moon. It's complicated. It's puzzling. I, I can't figure it out. And somebody says, I can't figure it out. Like it's a nuisance, an annoyance. And then maybe finding clarity that the reason that I can't figure it out and the reason that it, it, I couldn't put the pieces together is because it wasn't time. And it's time now. It's time for clarity. Clarity comes with the sun. House. It feels like home. I said that earlier. Home. Belonging. Security. Safety. Protection. Family. Comfort. <sighs> literally it feels like home it feels right the road it's a crossroad here it's multiple choices there's travel here free will opportunity weighing out the options and deciding there's a decision here a fork in the road it's yes it's no it's right it's left it's stay it's go it's like the unavoidable is here and now you have to decide, do I stay at this job? Do I quit? Do I continue this relationship or do I not? <clears throat> a good sign or omen. This is an albatross, a good sign or omen, but it also talks about shame, regret, guilt, burdens, baggage. <clears throat> Someone here needed to release baggage. They had this feeling of burden. Someone may have been carrying the weight of this connection or this, like, let's say if it's a job, like you was the one carrying the weight of the office. You know what I'm saying? All fucking responsibility was on you and it was unfair. Something here was about somebody feeling like they had the weight of the world on their shoulders, however that applies. The magnet, of course. Gravity, right? Magnetic attraction, that's attraction twice. Je ne sais quoi, so it's an X factor here. There's this yearning longing a desire i feel magnetically pulled i cannot get away i can't stop i cannot stop i keep getting brought back to this i feel like somebody's thinking it's stuck in my head some it's something is stuck in their head the stallion strong emotions desire sexual energy motivated driven breaking free, taming wild. Someone here feels, remember I talked about that earlier, about that whole freedom thing and then the being feeling restricted and shit. It's like, I don't want to be tamed or restricted. And it's like, well, with the right person, you're not. You're free to do whatever the fuck you want to do as long as there's respect. And I talk about that a lot being in aqua. It's like, we are the, the rebellious sign, you know what I mean? We need our freedom. And if we feel like you are trying to clip our wings, we freak out. And we flex that freedom and we play that freedom card a lot. And we, we refuse to be, you know, caged up like that. And this right here with the stallion says like somebody here has strong emotions that they can no longer contain. It's funny too, because I just started watching Yellowstone last night and the episodes I was watching, they were trying to break, break the stallion. Oh boy, oh boy. You have the world, it says completion of cycles. Something is completed. 
And then the church here talks about marriage and it talks about collective consciousness and such, right? Tradition and programming. Somebody here had it so in their head that it was supposed to be this. They had a vision or they had an idea that it's supposed to be this job. It's supposed to be this time frame. It's supposed to be this person. And it is not that. It is not that. It's different. And it's going to come very suddenly too because you have the Wolverine. Fierce. Unpredictable. Wild. Power struggles. So there's this extreme power struggle going on here. The eagles yeah, are battling it out. The muggle. You have assertive, possessive, determined, and elusive. It's like it comes out of nowhere. Somebody comes and they may say like, this is how I feel. All right, a flood of emotions might come out with the waterfall. And it comes with an awakening. We have the tree, which is spiritual growth. Literally an awakening. Somebody here could be having deja vu because it also talks about past lives. It's evolving. Someone here is evolving spiritually and the more they evolve, the more that they awaken. The more that they remember, the more that they see things differently. It's this higher perspective. Someone here is maturing with the lily also. There's an emotional maturity happening here. I heard facing the music. That's what I just heard. So I don't know if somebody is very connected to music or they love listening to music or there's something very specific about that. Facing the music. Somebody here might need to, maybe they get, this, there's an argument, right? Because that's also facing the music, having to take responsibility, having to admit you're wrong or, or whatever this would be. It's like, oh no, I got to hear it. That could be what's preventing someone from communicating. Yes. Yes. Let go. For some of you, you need to surrender. You need to let go. You need to allow. For some of you, the answer is yes to whatever this question is. And it's not going to be a yes answer if like, you have a question like, oh, is... Is he in love with me? And it's someone who's clearly not, who's clearly happy in another relationship or someone who is not happy with themselves but keeps treating you like shit and doesn't know how to treat someone properly, right? Then it's not, that's not what it is. <laughs> They'll make some shit out of nothing, okay? All right, let's actually do this one. final messages please and then we are going to do an extended and it will contain a sexual tarot magic spread haven't used those cards in a minute but it will contain that as well as other oracles and, and tarot but don't purchase that if you are offended by those images although they are gorgeous like art okay sculptures are naked uh, it's beautiful art three of cups reunion i saw it clear as fucking day in my head reunion it's a celebration it reminded me of that feeling of like if you met with your friends or coworkers or whatever and you were like, I got the job. Or it's a celebration of like, oh my God, I met the one. Do you see that kind of a vibe? Oh my God, she finally said it. Oh my God, he finally said it. It's a kind of a vibe of like, holy shit, hallelujah. It's a celebration. Eight of Wands, communication or movement, Knight of Cups, bottom of the deck again. I saw it there earlier. Nine of, uh, Knight of Cups, excuse me, is a younger water sign, someone who's not fully emotionally mature also, but it can also be um, like a secret admirer, someone who has a crush. So a crush could message or there also could be a shift in energy with this energy here. Seven of Wands, someone could be, you know, cock blocking or um, blocking their own damn self. They're, they're preventing themselves from expressing how they feel, right? Knight of Cups, they're holding a cup feeling. Some of you, this is about not expressing yourself in a work environment, not expressing yourself and standing up for yourself in other ways. And the magician, a manifester, right? Someone who holds all of the power as above, so below. It's also as within, so without. Someone's creating something, creating magic. 
All right, you guys. So like I said, we are going to do the extended. If you want to purchase that, click on the link below. It would be under the special love slash oracle readings. Follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. I do have tickets still available to my Zoom event happening this Thursday, 11, 11. It's called Hour of Power, where we are going to do manifestations and I'm going to do an abundance prayer. And we're going to meditate and we are going to really soak in the energy of this 1111 portal that's coming. And also thank you for your likes, your shares and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Love you guys. Thank you. See you in the extended. Bye.